The table saw, when equipped with a blade cutting for aluminum, is ideal for large plate, like this 1 inch thick 7075, or this 3 8 2024, and for our project today we'll be using 8 inch 6061. Using my cross cutting sled, I'm demonstrating how easy the 10 inch Alumicut blade cuts through this 3 8 inch thick aluminum. With the rip fence set to the width of the part and using a push block, I'm cutting strips of 6061 for our project. To get enough pieces for the project, I'm cutting up various scraps that I had laying around the shop. I'll take these blanks and put them on the crosscut sled and cut them to length. Using my caliper, I'll scribe a line to indicate where I want to cut my part to length. I then carefully line up the scribe line with the kerf on the cross-cutting sled and the outside edge of the tooth on the saw blade. This is where I'll set my stop. The stop allows me to make repeated cuts to the same length. Here I'm taking a very small cut just to square up the end of the blank. I made two sets of blanks so I could drill one set on the drill press to demonstrate that technique and the other set on the milling machine. When drilling on the drill press it's important that all three parts be clamped together perfectly aligned. After the first hole is drilled, I put a bolt through it to maintain the alignment and then reclamped it to the table to drill the second hole. And the same procedure goes for the third hole. A quick touch on all the holes with a countersink removes the burr from the drilling operation. The milling machine is a much more convenient way to get matched holes. In this case, I'm drilling it first slightly undersized and then I'm coming in with a quarter inch milling cutter plunge cutting to the correct size.
Quick touch with the countersink deburrs all the holes. In the article, I went into detail how I used the scribe lines on the parts to line up with the kerf and the cross-cutting sled. For the second cut, it's just a matter of repositioning the blanks on the sled with the holes drilled in a new position for the correct angle. There's no need for a third cut because the final edge was our original reference edge. That's all for this video. I'd like to thank Richard Cunningham for the inspiration for this edition of Kit Plane's Home Shop Machinists. I'm Bob Hadley. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time in the home shop.